Sorry, it's taking a little longer than I thought, but here we go. Okay, can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. What is um, prospecting? We need pros We need we need prospects, right? What is what is prospecting gut style? It's realizing that the lifeblood of your financial business success depends on prospecting. The need to generate a system on which you acquire consistent quality leads. That's rule of five. Speak to five people a day and make five offers a day. Do five follow-ups a day. Do five social media a day. Leave five voicemails a day, gut style. What is the problem that most people have that most people have? In terms of marketing, most prospecting or lead generation systems have the following issues. They're gar they are garbage, they are garbage leads. They're cold leads. They're people who don't want to be contacted. They're costly. How many people here have spent a lot of money on costly leads? Okay, a lot of time mailing envelopes, uh, buying different applications, computer systems. The rejection rate in I see on some on a lot of these marketing systems is almost a hundred percent. The people don't know you. Um, there's just uh, the, there's just not enough. Uh, they have no idea who you are, or what you're about, and they've received too many other phone calls. Prospects are contacted relentlessly by other marketers. How many people here have been rejected? You're the tenth person to call me. That's not a good fit, Joshua. Right? It's not a good feeling, man. I don't want to. Be, I don't want to be adversarial with people. I want to be part of the solution with people and make an honest dollar. Forgive me for that. Um, bad leads foster constant rejection. How do we feel when we, you know, we got all the gurus giving us all these little motivation speakers and speeches, and then we hear some deals like we just heard now, and then we go out and we use uh, some kind of antiquated lead system or calling a lot of bad, a lot of bad leads that have been supposedly verified by our VA and we get rejected. How does that make us feel truly? Thumbs down, Jessica. How does that make us feel when people don't like us and we call them and bother them and everything? It's not, it's not a double thumbs down. Um, it's, <laughs> it's, not a good it's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling. Many systems are also illegal and violate federal and state laws. Be careful. There's a lot. We have the do not call list. Go to the um, uh, federal FCC and look up uh, on, on the, uh, making phone calls from lists that have not been properly vetted. You can be fined. You can be fined heavily. You don't need that in your life. Well, why do we need prospects? Pretty obvious question, because the gut sales method only works if you're having fun. Can you imagine having fun in sales, calling up people, having nice dialogues, even if you don't make a sale or you get a prospect for the future? And you, we're all in. Why are we in business? I say this every Monday. Make money. Make money today. Today, most important word. Even if we don't make money today. Now. Right. Right, Chris. Um, you're, we want to feel wonderful about ourselves. We have enormous, wonderful confidence. When we speak to people, we've talked about in previous Mondays about starting conversations, initiating pattern interrupts, learning how to ask questions with redirection, stroking, nurturing, all these things we talk about. What do you think that does to our, how we feel about ourselves? I'm getting psycho babbling here, but what do you think if we talk to enough people and we have good conversations, does that lead, does that make, what's the big C word? Confidence. How do we feel? Good. Confident. Confident. Thank you. Thank you. If we feel confident in our business, in speaking to strangers, which mom told us not to do, can we make more and more phone calls? Okay. Amen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And going to the bank on a consistent feeling is, is a, on a consistent basis is a great feeling. And bottom line, cold calling really sucks. Okay. Getting, I can't. Cold calling to people who have no idea who you are or what you're about. Hi, I'd like to talk to you about lease purchasing today. I got this little guru script in front of me. <laughs> and you hear all those clicks all day long. It's, uh, it's, it's, it, it takes the fun out of the business. Um, mm -hmm. Who needs to prospect guts house? You do. Life is too short to cold call. Ask yourself, who really are your prospects? This is where we got to fine tune this a little. Who are your prospects in your business? Most of the people in this room, in this Zoom room right now are real estate people, right? Mm -hmm. 
We have anybody in other businesses here, insurance, car sales, Amway shampoo, um, and environmentally concerned, um, uh, used dental, uh, recycled uh, used dental floss. <laughs> okay. Everybody, most people are in this room or in real estate. What is the age of your perfect, of the, of the people you want to work with? Do you have an age group? Uh, what's the income group of the people you want to work with? If you're selling million dollar homes, should you talk to somebody who um, is a Walmart greeter? Mm -mm. You know, maybe not. Maybe that shouldn't be your target audience. Uh, do you like men, women, uh, both? It doesn't matter. Occupation. Do you like to work with doctors, lawyers, uh, um, people in higher income brackets? Okay. And what's your geography? I like backyard. I like doing backyard stuff. Nothing wrong with going to other places or going a couple hours out or going to other states. A lot of people do it. But I, I think starting out in your own backyard is a good place. Why? common sense you know you know your real estate you know you know your prices and you know your own your prices in your backyard don't you yes i think i think i think it's a better way and especially i used to drive um um you know the different areas i used to east lake in uh, san diego uh, thousands of homes and condos and i used to drive through there once a week look for those for sale signs even if there were real estate signs and there'd be new ones popping up all the time. And I knew all the prices of the different condos and houses in that one area. I really became on top of that. Um, who, when should you prospect gut uh, got stuff? Every day for 30 minutes minimum. If, can you spend 30 minutes a day working on your marketing plan? Absolutely. Just to generate, to prospect for new stuff. I don't care if you're going into Zoom, the MLS, Craigslist, or whatever. Can you spend 30 minutes a day looking for quality, looking or generating quality leads? Think about who you want to attract and what, and reverse engineer it a little bit. Your prospects, are they going, what are, are they going online and what are they searching for? Someone who wants, who's new in an area, who wants to buy a new home or is looking for something. Where, what, kind, what do you think they're going to type into Google? Schools. School. Best. What's the best school district? That's a great point. How about somebody who needs public transportation in San Diego? Um, uh, they have a great trolley system. Do you want to live? Wouldn't it be great to live a uh, walking distance to that trolley so you could go right to work and not have to use the car all the time? Would that be important? Things like that. So you might want to do content that says about the transportation system, or if you'd like to play tennis, where are you? Is it near tennis courts? Talk about things that will attract people who are looking for that particular property or investors. Uh, what are, what's an investor looking for? Where do they get the best return? Where do they get the highest rents? Do content of that nature. How do, we, how do we prospect Gus Tussile? We do attraction marketing. This is something I work on every day in my own business, generating such interest and compelling content through social media that the prospect comes to you. How cool is that when you can attract prospects? Okay, we talked about quality, warm prospects. So we put out content out there. If you're looking for buyers, sellers, other investors, in your real estate business, how do you attract them? The smart, if you study some of the really smart realtors out there, they put out content. There's one fellow in San Diego, he puts out these beautiful videos um, about twice a month, I forget his name, and he shows these beautiful homes that he's selling, multi-million dollar homes, okay? And he puts his phone number and everything there and he's very, he, he's very relaxed on the, on the camera and he shows the homes and it's obviously working because he's been doing it for years. Daily broadcasting of your content. Okay, you use, use one or a variety of media. I, use, you, I like YouTube, as you guys know, because from YouTube, I can click the share button and I can share it with Facebook, Twitter, uh, all the others, or I can copy the address link from the video I did and I can actually um, put it in Vimeo. I can edit it and put it in TikTok and all different places. YouTube is just a great place uh, to, for a starting person, if you don't mind the camera. And my, I only work with beautiful people like the ones in this room. Was that a stroke? <laughs> go, go on that camera, it can't hurt. Um, 
this is important, build up a dedicated email list of buyers, sellers, and investors. Once a month, once every week, two weeks, put out, send out a little email about buying, selling, investing, what you're doing, mistakes you made, uh, the, your favorite, uh, your favorite um, Asian restaurant uh, uh, while you were driving around looking for properties, things like a place that a uh, neighborhood that's dog friendly or something like that. Put out content and build up a list of all the people you talk to. Take that email list and keep and and keep sending them things. A weekly is the best. You get guys get my emails from meetings like this. You get a follow up from me uh, later today. You'll get the link. Sometimes I put in little extra things about like the Dan Lok uh, Afghanistan airport seminar um, things. Like, boy, am I going to get a letter from his lawyer? Uh, <laughs> 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 He's a public figure, by the way. You can use humor on public figures, okay? <laughs> so hopefully he has a sense of humor. He, he bought my package. He bought my package, so I think he does. Um, uh, so uh, build up your list. And even if that list, you have 50, 100 people, you find a property and you send pictures, okay? Yeah, to that people. I got this great property, like Robert was talking about. It's it's worth 250. I just got it for 150. Owner financing, lease purchasing, subject to. This is you, you know, this is a deal you can do today. First one who calls me gets it. And you put pictures and information and you send that out to your 50, 100 dedicated followers in your email list. What kind of res warm response will you receive? Do you think you'll get a response? Yes. Yes. And these are people who know you already. You have a little bit of gravitas, a little, you have a little bit of reputation with them. Um, if you like taking pictures of, uh, take pictures of properties, talk about them, even if you're not involved in them, talk about other people's deals. You do videos, do live streaming. I do a lot of live streaming. Uh, you can live stream today so easily through oh, Zoom to Facebook and YouTube and other places too. Um, if you like to write, how many writers do we have? Do we have any writers in the room here today? Okay, I like to keep a journal. You guys know my famous little composition book here in Sharpie pen, I write. So you can put, you can write stuff and post it in, in Facebook. Uh, you can do blogs. Um, I use Blogger, okay, from and which is owned by Google. Uh, it's a great place for blogging. Um, Interviews. I do a lot. If you guys want to uh, promote your business and attract more clients, consultees, or anything, or sell things, um, do there's tons of podcasts out there that have done all the work for you. They have thousands of subscribers. Um, I did one. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, GSD, get shit done, or something like that. A couple of years ago, <laughs> I interviewed. I can't tell you how many deals, how many contracts. How many people have signed up for my mentoring program, brought my products from that one interview? Um, I've done, I do. So go out there, find these podcasts and they're dying to interview people and just have a chat with them. They record it. They send it to all their dedicated email people. Okay. And now you offer something for free so that they call you, text you, or schedule with you on your webpage. So you do those interviews, podcasts, or whatever. Um, I talked earlier about TikTok does shorties now, short videos, little 30-second uh, videos. Um, uh, YouTube is doing that now. It's fairly new, I believe. Um, and uh, blogging is, and do your, blo do your blogging too. Where uh, should you look for prospects? Where do your prospects hang? What web pages do they, are you putting content in the web pages they go to? Do you have your own friendly web page? You guys know my feelings about web pages, okay? The web pages where you attract people and then you have your pop ups and you have all this stuff, uh, junk, instead of one page where you can attract them, where you can capture their email or get them to schedule with you. Make a web page real simple and make it one page without being annoyed. How many people here, true, everybody, two martinis and some sodium pentothal. How many people here go to a web page? They wanted some information and they got and not and they got nothing close to it. And they had to do all the scrolling and, and, and click out the X's and all that. How annoying. What do we do when we get that annoying web page? Bye. Leave. We leave. Mm -hmm. We leave. Think of a reverse engineer. If you were looking for information about lease purchasing, buying or selling, wholesaling, real estate, 
and you attract people, make sure they go to the right page with the right information, offer them, and maybe even have a video. Make sure you have a web page with a video you can insert in there and say, hi, thanks for coming to my web page. I've got this free stuff. I've got a calendar below. Schedule with me. Um, I'd love to answer all your questions and talk about doing a deal or whatever. And then offer incentives to them. Gain credibility with your audience that you're trying to attract. This is how you get warm prospects. And if you do this often enough and consistently enough, people call you, text you, email, and schedule with you. And now those are good calls. And you're not going to burn out calling people with all that rejection stuff we talked about earlier. Uh, where do your prospects go? What web pages are they doing? Where do they advertise? Um, uh, who are your prospects? Ask yourself that question. What questions will your prospect ask you in advance? What, what do you think they're going to say? Are you prepared for the questions they're going to ask you? What media do they use? What's the most popular? Is it Facebook? Is it Twitter? Is it Zoom? What, which one is it? Um, and what do they read? What do they read any publications or magazines or, or do they go to other people's web page? Find out where they are. Where are your, where do you, are your creative strengths? And, and put out that content to attract people so that you get, this is the, my kind of guts prospecting. Um, absolutely. Let's, um, let's do, um, how, who wants to do a few role plays here? Yes. Uh, let me think here for a second. Uh, let's see. Um, let me call. Who was who's my volunteer? I'm going to call you up. Okay. Okay, Mr. Cash Offer. There you go. Um, uh, ring, ring. Hello. This uh, am I the buyer or the seller? You are. You are a guy who advert. What would? Who's your perfect client? Someone with money. Someone who wants to buy, sell. What? You you select the prospect, and I'll be that prospect. Okay, perfect client. Someone who wants to sell. Okay, you you want to sell something? Yes. Okay, ring ring. Yeah. Uh, hi, this is Chris. Chris, I just was. I just saw your video on YouTube. Man, I love. That's why I'm calling you. You said to call. And you gave your uh, man. I loved your video about uh, how to do uh, how to uh, how to use a escrow and title company. Great information. Yeah, that's awesome. I appreciate you stopping by the web page and uh, you know giving me some support. Uh, I, I really appreciate that. How, how how can I help you today? Well, I wanted to know more about. It. I want to do what you're doing. Okay, I sell used toothbrushes, and um, you know, <laughs> I, 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 Jessica, this gets harder and harder. <laughs> <laughs> we try to recycle everything um you know and um it's it's not as glamorous a business as you might think and um i'd really like to get it i'd like to do what you're doing kind of um okay. what do you what would and i just wanted what what would be your advice sure um absolutely well you know um i'm really busy but you know i love to help you get into uh, you know to fulfilling your dreams and everything like that uh, let, let me ask you real quick. Well, I mean, what's your biggest setback? I mean, why, why have you just my, hate, I'll be telling you the truth. I hate my job. I, you know, um, I'm not making as much money as I want for my retirement and everything like that. And I'd love to, um, I, I really, I have a little money saved and I'd like to do a real estate. I'd like to do my first real estate deal. So I've been Googling and I saw your videos about real estate and I was wondering if you could help me do my first deal. But, you know, I, and I really, Man, I love getting calls like this. I love talking you to individuals. You like <laughs> I love talking to individuals who are very excited about getting into the business. Uh, and I could definitely help you do this. Let, let imagine for a second. Let's pretend uh, that you know uh, you can you you fire your boss. You get rid of stop selling used toothbrushes uh, and use dental floss. You can start doing real estate <laughs> deals. What about um, used toilet paper. No, use uh, toothbrushes. <laughs> you know. We've got a lot of use. I'm getting a bad visual here. <laughs> yeah. uh, imagine that you could uh, replace your income. You know, you, you start doing real estate deals regularly. You become a, a expert in, to, in the business. Um, you know, something like that. How, how would how would that make you feel? If you, you make me feel? I'd like to do my first deal. Can you help me? Can I call you once in a while? Or do you have any deals for me right now? My friend Robert Fendler just made $100,000 on a deal. Uh, uh, do you have any properties or anything you can shoot me? 
I have a ton of property. You hear the thing, I, you know, I work with, I work with individuals on a, uh, you know, a direct one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, and, and generally, you know, you have, we have to, uh, come to some type of an agreement uh, on, you know, how we'll- Yeah, whatever, you know, what do we need to do? Close me, 30 seconds. You got me. I don't, I don't one through 10, what am I? You're like a 10, you're like a nine or 10. Well, close me, but be, be gentle. Uh, all I want is a property. Sell me a property. You probably, let's pretend you have a, you have a property, uh, you got it under contract, it's uh, lease purchase, and um, you, you'll help me, uh, you can sell me this property, uh, facilitate the whole thing, make yourself $25,000 and you throw in some consulting to help me set up, get my first tenant buyer. Close me in 30 to 45 seconds. Go ahead. Got you, got you. Well, you know what, Mr. Clyde, you know, I, I actually, I got a deal uh, that I think would be perfect for you. Uh, you know, it, not that much work that you'll have to put into it. Uh, it's one, really one of those great deals. You know, I'll see you. I'll send you a prospectus over of that deal. Are, are you are you capable? Are you in a financial position to be able to move, you know, do this transaction quickly if I can, you know, yeah, send this? How much, how much would I need? Yeah, I've been saving up for a long time. A absolutely. Roughly about a um, about 80,000 to get you into this deal. I'll make sure, you know, I'll consult with you on this deal. I'll actually, you know, if you're serious, I'll throw in some consulting with you. You know, I'll help how do you. you with how that. do you make money? How do you make money though? I, I, I want to do the deal. If you say so, um, send me the information. How do you make money on this? Yeah, well, up front, um, you know, for me sending you this deal, helping you with this consultation uh, and, and me making sure this transaction goes smoothly so that you can do your first deal successfully. You know, I'll have you pay me up front um, and, and then, you know, I'll go ahead and start working with you uh, and getting all the paperwork getting all the, the deal the the details of the deal done how, how does that sound something like oh, that, that sounds fine but you never gave me off the role play you never gave me a number so you can do basically what you can do is either assign the contract to me and okay. put a number on top of it okay gotcha. and gotcha. Then or charge an assignment or consulting fee all right all right bottom line good role play the good role play there let's do one more hey, we'll run out of time hey, claude Yes. On that, could could he also offer like you know I'll do the the deal with you fifty fifty? He could. It depends on the deal. If there's enough money in it, yeah. What if this is a proper? What if he's too busy with other deals? This is a small, a good starting deal, but he'd rather have somebody else take care of it, get the contractors fixed. It really depends on. It's a good question, Robert. It really depends. Sure. On the deal. Okay. Yes, he could go 50 50. That might be a good way to do it. Or just sometimes just get out of the deal and move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. You know, it, to turn over these deals and, you know, you got a choice. Would you like to make maybe 25,000, maybe six months from now? Or would you like to get a nice $8,500 retainer uh, today? Mm -hmm. You know? Imagine you, I'm in on a Monday, or maybe you can be a little, you know, maybe you can wait a couple of months and see what happens with the guy. But maybe, but let somebody get them. You find a deal, you lock it up, sell the contract or take on a partner or do a consultation. We talk a lot about, we've spent uh, Mondays uh, talking about consulting too. Like who had their hand up before? I want to do another role play here before we run out of time. Who's my, uh, who's my next role play guy? I saw Somebody's hand up there. Okay. Was it was it Sergey? It's not you, Ben. No. You sure? Sergio. The young Sergio. gentleman. Sir. Oh, Sir, uh, Sergey. Sergey. Yeah, I'm you? here. Sergio. Oh, there you are. I found you. You're not on my screen. I got. We have a lot of people on today. Um, Sergey. Um, I, I, I just saw your I just saw your web page and it said you have a free mind map. Uh, on lease purchasing, um, I'd like to get that, please. Uh huh. Um, can I may I ask you what's your name first? Uh, Joe Blow. Okay, nice to meet you, Joe. My Joe name Blow is. Joe Blow is 